Sing a song for you so you don't have to cry no more. All I wanna do is find a melody to take the pain away. All I wanna do is sing a song for you so you don't have to cry no more. Is that so hard? To build a wall of sound around your bed that always keeps you safe.
This is the Mount Hood Clamshell Tent from Cascadia Vehicle Tents, also known as CVT. Let me share the reasons I opted for this tent for the Rebel Overland build and some things you may want to consider whether this tent is right for you. First, this tent has double channels on the lower clamshell portion of the tent. This was something I found beneficial for two reasons. One, the double channel allows for a bolt used in each channel to secure any accessories, for example like a privacy slash shower room. This doubles the number of contact points compared to a single channel clamshell tent. The second reason is that this allows for a taller height inside the tent, which means I am able to store bedding in the tent without having to struggle with closing the shell. This is important to me because I now have a huge baby seat in the rear of the cab, as well as baby related gear I have to carry inside, so any extra space I can free up would help greatly. Of course the downside of this means that the height of the tent when closed will be a couple of inches higher, but it is still under 9 inches, which allows me to fit in the garage. And although it is slightly thicker than a single channel clamshell tent by 2 inches, I have not noticed any increased wind drag. Gas mileage decrease has been similar to any of the other previous rooftop tents I've owned in the past, and I believe that is due to the increased weight on the vehicle, which will happen with any rooftop tent. A few additional items I've noticed that impressed me with this tent are the latches for the tent are sturdy and allow for a padlock in case you want to secure it shut while away for an extended period of time from your rig, or if you live in Portland, Oregon. The other things are the shoe bags, which comes with the s beaners attached to the grommets which secure them in place. Previous shoe bags on other clamshell tents I've seen use a hook system, which would unfortunately blow away in heavy winds if there is nothing inside them weighing them down. I also like the screens on the sides of the awning, allowing for unobstructed views to the sides from inside the tent. Also, the tent comes with load bars that can hold up to 100 pounds, and I still haven't decided what I will mount on top of them, but I will definitely come up with something. Now let's check out the interior. So as you can see, it's very similar to my previous clamshell tent, but with a few differences. And I think these key differences will definitely help improve my experience at camp, as well as what I want to do. So because of the double channel design, it is a little bit thicker. Uh, that is a con of the double channel. It will be thicker, um, but it allows a little bit more space to be able to fit bedding and stuff in here. Because of the fact that we have a baby now, so we have a baby uh, seat in the back of the car. Uh, so because that takes up a lot of space, the space that we use to keep our bedding will now be up here. So it'll kind of free up that space for the baby. Because of the fact that I am planning to go on solo trips in the winter time and in the Pacific Northwest, it does rain a lot out here. Transporting the bedding from the cab to the tent while it's raining out is not ideal just because especially if it's down and which is what we use you don't want to get that wet uh, what I do notice is that the top over here is carpeted we do have the netting that was very similar to what it was before what I had another one but we do have additional hooks on the side around here on the top of the tent so we can hang lights uh, we can hang just even hooks and carabiners to hang clothes if you want inside over here freeing up more space inside the tent. I do see a couple of extra vent panels. There's two more here. There's additional pockets on the side of the tent, which is great because before what I did was when I came into the tent, I would either use the uh, pockets in the back over here near the foot. Um, also, if you're asking what kind of setup I have planned for the family for when Katie and Chloe come right now, we are still gonna do the ground tent style uh, with a six person tent until uh, the next configuration is ready for us to pick up, which uh, that would be a surprise. I'm sure a lot of you guys can already guess. But... So that is the CVT Mount Hood in the medium size. It is primarily for solo trips, but it doesn't have to be. I definitely love how it looks on the truck, how the color scheme just kind of goes with the wheels. Love their stuff, I, especially the customer service is outstanding. So the next video will be the first voyage with uh, the Ram Rebel all built out this way. And I am gonna go on the Washington Backcountry Discovery route. Yeah, it'll be good times. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to 
just testing the whole rig out on the trails, putting it through its paces, and most importantly, just being able to camp and just chill out. I always say it is not, you don't need just this kind of setup or configuration to have a good time. And this is not the end all to, to a camping configuration setup. And as you may already know, there's many different ways to enjoy camping. And this is just one of them based on my personal preferences. So stay tuned because it's going to be a whole lot of adventuring with this rig. And I'm looking forward to you coming on board and joining me on those adventures. So for now, be safe, take care, and I'll see you next time. See you.